Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, first, I'm Jae Jung Yoo, a postdoc in, in the Center for the Physics of the Living Cell at UIUC. My, I'm going to give a presentation today on behalf of my uh, primary uh, advisor, uh, Professor Smith here. And uh, this work is done in, collab in collaboration with TechGPA Group at UIUC. And uh, all the computations are done by Blue Water's computer. First of all, uh, I'd like to summarize uh, the project we are currently doing using Blue Water's computer. For example, we simulate DNA origami nano channel, uh, which is a nano, nano channel made of DNA molecule. For example, uh, the red uh, molecule here is the AMP molecule. So we study the uh, translocation event of this small molecule using this uh, ionity nano channel. And the other project is the uh, synthetic nanopore for DNA sequencing in combination with the plasmonic device. And we also study the DNA condensation physics using oretamin dissimulation. And I'd like to present my most recent data about the folding of the uh, genomic DNA inside the nucleic, uh, eukaryotic DNA uh, nucleus. First of all, I'd like to uh, uh, explain uh, homologous recombination for people who are not familiar with biology. So uh, human nucleus, inside the human nucleus, there are 23 different types of chromosomes, and each chromosome, uh, there are two copies of each chromosome. So in total, we have 46 chromosomes inside the nucle our cell. And that, account, that is same as 6.5 million base pairs, which is really long. So we, if we just uh, stretch out the entire genome, that is about 10 meter long. But the human nucleus is about 10 microns, micron scale. So it, it, the, 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 the environment inside the nu uh, nucleus is really a uh, condensed environment. But for example, what happens if some part, first part of the DNA is broken and the uh, cell utilizes the uh, homologous sequence in the, on the other chromosome as a, um, as a uh, blueprint to uh, repair the uh, damaged part. So this represents uh, two homologous DNA localized together. And then after localization is done, then some uh, homology recombination, homologous recombination protein uh, um, make, make the homology recombination occur. But so the, but the, the mecha mechanism, how the, the, those proteins work is quite well known, but what is mysterious is that in the first place, how two homologous segments can be localized in a, in a quite complex environment. So, it is still mysterious, so some people like Professor Kornishev um, proposed some uh, theory about that there is some DNA, uh, some, something called DNA telepathy, which means DNA can sense each other's uh, sequence so, so that homologous sequence can be localized without help of any other, any specific protein. But it is just theory, and uh, there is no experimental data, so this, this one is quite debated until, uh, until now. So we wanted to study uh, if there, it, is kind of, it is possible thing using Oretum MD simulation. So my simulation setup was quite simple. There are two, two pair, one pair of double-stranded DNA molecule, which is parallel to each other. And then what is important here is that uh, we, I used uh, a polyamine. Polyamine is, is important and, uh, not because uh, in the cell, in, inside the li living cell, there are uh, polyamine molecules are uh, abundant. And uh, for example, in case of uh, yeast, uh, polyamine molecules like spermine or spermine, I used, specifically used spermine polyamine in, in, uh, in my simulation. But in general, spermine, uh, Spermine or spermine concentration is about close to one molar in case of yeast molecule, 
is east. So there, as you might know, DNA molecules are highly negatively charged. So without polyamines, they repel each other due to electrostatic repulsion. But if we have a polyamine, which is polycation, in case for this one, uh, this, po this polyamine has plus four valence. So the polyamine only, only po uh, in the presence of polycation, uh, the polycation can induce attraction between uh, DNA mole molecule. So we performed quite uh, uh, standard method to compute the interaction free energy between t two DNA molecules. And uh, for, for example, the result for AQ rich segment is shown here. So we see quite stable attraction between two DNA molecules, which, it, which it attraction is induced by polyamine. And this one is not surprising, and uh, this one is well known for more than 30 years. But what is surprising is that the, the magnitude of the attraction depends on uh, AT content. For example, when I compute the same uh, interaction free energy for GC-rich uh, DNA segment a pair, then the, uh, still it is attractive, but the uh, magnitude of attraction is of, of only about half of that for eight rich segment. So why does it happen? It happens because uh, polyamine distribution is different for, uh, as polyamine distribution around DNA depends on sequence. For example, this is a, uh, uh, this, the, the figure show the polyamine distribution, representative polyamine distribution around DNA for HC rich segment and the eight rich segments. This is top view and the side view. Uh, and it is quite clear that on, for, only for GC rich segment, we see many quite significant number of uh, polyamine bound to the inside the DNA molecule, specifically major group of the DNA molecule. But on the other hand, for a rich segment, we can hard, hardly see any polyamine molecule bound to the major group. So mo most of the polyamine molecules are polyamine molecules study, uh, stay outside the DNA. So obviously the polyamine molecule confined between two DNA molecules are much effectively higher. Concentration is higher for a rich segment compared to the GC rich segment. And uh, those polyamine molecules uh, between two, in between DNA molecule, they induce uh, attraction. So that's why the attraction, magnitude of attraction is much higher for a to each segment. And chemically it happens because, uh, for example, G, uh, guanine, has a quite uh, strong cation binding site, N7 nitrogen. And uh, a, uh, adenine also has uh, N7 nitrogen, but uh, in case of a to each segment, thymine, thymine is methyl group. For example, this is a close-up view of the major group of, of ATH segment. And the red spheres are uh, N7 nitrogen, which are uh, cation binding site. But what is important is that the gray spheres, which is methyl group from thymines, they, are, they, kind, uh, they kind of block the, the, the cation binding to uh, N7 nitrogen. So that's why for ATH segment, uh, polycation cannot bind, polyamine cannot bind to the major group. So uh, I, I, we thought that this finding is quite novel and never known and uh, surprising. So we want to ask um, single molecule experiment, experimental uh, experts in TJ group, uh, Tech Park, Professor Tech Park group at UIUC, and uh, prof, uh, Dr. Hajin Kim performed single molecule exper experiment. So in his experimental setup, he used a lipid bilayer vesicle, and uh, that inside of each vesicle, he confined, captured only one pair of DNA molecule. And each DNA molecule had a, uh, a FRET uh, acceptor and donor, so by observing the FRET signal, they can, he could observe if, if DNA is bound or not. So, and he also uh, tried many fa uh, various ionic conditions, changing the concentration of sodium, sodium and uh, also changing the concentration of sperm, uh, polyamine molecule. And consistent, consistently what he saw 
regardless of the uh, ionic con composition is that uh, consistent with uh, my uh, MD simulation prediction. Uh, he's so um, quite uh, higher uh, binding, binding frequency, uh, frequency for eight rich segment, which is confirming, uh, confirming my MD simulation prediction. And the, the implication, I think the biological implication is more than homologous recombination. For example, recent experimental data, specifically high C, for people who already know the high C data, I'm not going to say the detail, explain the detail of the high C data, but the, there is some experimental data, experimental technique that can, uh, uh, kept, uh, they can uh, quantitatively uh, capture the uh, uh, binding frequency uh, between every pair of, in, of the human genome, uh, any inside the cell, genome in a cell. And uh, from, by counting the number of uh, binding event, uh, using uh, the experimental technique, one can get a contact map, <coughs> looks like that, for intra-chromosome interaction, and also high C data provide inter-chromosome interaction, but regardless of the interaction type, what they consistently see is that the uh, compactness of compactness of the uh, inter loci interaction is highly correlated to GC content or, or AT content. For example, uh, the higher GC content, the the less compact conf uh, binding affinity which is totally consistent with our simulation and experimental data. So to summarize the, the result, uh, so the genetics must be is based on, mostly based on sequence, but uh, what is uh, arising recently is that genomics, ca genetics can be uh, also some structural, inform uh, structural factor can play really important role in genetics. So chromatin is not random polymer, and uh, Chromatin can form, should form three-dimensional conformation, and the conformation actually can affect gene activation ac expression level. But sequence is not everything. For example, if you think of uh, our human body, for example, like, think, uh, let's compare, uh, think about brain cell and the heart cell. They, uh, they look totally different, but uh, what is amazing that every cell in our body share exactly the identical genome sequence. So obviously there must be more than sequence. So there is some, uh, uh, life, life has a gene uh, temporary, kind of temporary gene modification method. One of the major modification method is methylation on cytosine. So what def define different tissue type in our body is actually major, mainly the methylation pattern. Methylation patterns are tissue specific. And so we tried to, we wanted to know what is the um, effect of methylation on, uh, um, on DNA, DNA interaction. And so we performed same MD simulation, free energy simulation using MD, MD simulation method. And uh, well, surprisingly, after uh, methylation was introduced, the interaction, uh, attraction free energy, att magnitude of attraction became for a GCDG sequence became quite similar to a 3 g segment. Uh, sorry, I forgot this one, but uh, this happens because uh, methylation site on cytosine is here, and if you compare cytosine here and thymine here, uh, you can clearly see that uh, methylated cyt cytosine is quite chemically similar to thymine. So methylation of CPG site is to some degree change modulating the um, effectively the uh, AT content of the genome sequence. So again, the same thing, uh, our, our prediction was confirmed by a single molecule ex uh, experimentalist, Dr. Hajin Kim, in t Professor Tekjipa group. And uh, as you can see, the methylated uh, DNA has more high, more uh, higher uh, binding, of fre uh, binding frequency. And this is also quite consistent with the well-known biological phenomena. For example, 
uh, human uh, female cell has two, one, uh, two copies of X chromosome, and uh, out of two, on, always only one X chromosome is active, and the other one is totally inactivated. And uh, inactivated, inactivation of X, X chromosome occurs by um, uh, hypermethylation on X chromosome, so this inactive chromo X chromosome is high, highly uh, methylated. And, and as you can clearly see here, uh, using uh, imaging here, uh, inactive X chromosome, which is highly methylated, is much more compact than active X chromosome. So it's not a direct evidence, but uh, we can expect that our, probably uh, our, my, our principle can explain why this phenomenon occurs inside the cell. So I'd like to summarize my research um, in this slide. So OGCDH segment, they, they, their attraction is much lower, so they are relatively more loose, loosely com uh, loose, and, uh, but uh, for H-rich domains, they, they attract each other very strongly, so they form quite compact conformation. And then if methylation is introduced to G3H segment, then uh, those segments can be uh, Domain, domains can be uh, highly compacted. But what is important is that, that compaction and can be, is reversible. So by removing methyl methylation, we, uh, the compacted domain can be, uh, can be loose again. So we, we, we probably, we, we, yeah. And the current, I'd like to uh, close my talk by uh, uh, showing, showing the current work. So we we pro provide we our, uh, uh, we pro uh, we proved our principle using uh, only in a DNA level. But uh, uh, as you might know, chromo uh, human chromatin is more than DNA. So we are in collaboration with Techshipa Group. We are working on uh, proving the similar principle at every level of chromo chromo chromosome for example, nucleosome in, the, uh, in a, in a uh, whole nucleus level. And uh, this one is uh, one, my ongoing work on the coarse grain model of the uh, in whole nucleus model. And I'd like to thank my advisor, advisors, Professor Aksmentev and uh, Professor Tekjipa, and the uh, collaborator Dr. Ajin Kim and uh, all the uh, Aksmentev group members and uh, funding source was uh, NSF, and uh, computation was provided by Blue Waters. Thanks. <laughs>